Here's a really interesting story, J.R. Jackson, uh, Rick Strom. So the, uh, the Cleveland Browns suck. The Cleveland Browns suck. Like they are bad at football. Uh, the records will also show how bad they are. In the uh, AFC North with the Pittsburgh Steelers leading with a 9-2 and record, no surprise, the Browns sit at the bottom with zero wins. So here's the uh, interesting part about this, Jay, is that Sam Darnold, quarterback for USC, potential number one pick mm -hmm. as well. Here's what Albert Breer wrote. This was back on November 7th, 2017, quote, scouts who have been through there have told me that Darnold is a smart, conscientious kid with good family around him and will take everything. Oh, what a hard player, including his play, his situation at USC. And yes, here's the big one, potential NFL landing spots into account in the decision. That said, as I've heard it from those close to him, Darnold has shut down any talk about the draft for now. Again, November 7, 2017, so then some reporters asked him about it. And Darnold on that report about being the number one pick, quote, I'm not sure where that came from, so I'm going to leave it alone, smart answer. And then via ESPN this morning, I didn't say anything about the Browns. I've never said anything bad about an NFL team. They know I would never say anything. Here is why Sam Darnold should pay heed to why, and I'm, you know, I'm asking the question to JR, but also to you, would you stay in school for another year and not get paid for your, uh, for what you can accomplish for a school who doesn't give a shit about you, or would you rather go to a Cleveland Browns team that is, <laughs> by history standards, going to suck? Here are the standards. Pro Sports Chick had a uh, Cleveland Browns jersey where she would put every single starter's last name on her jersey. <laughs> Come on, Edwin, take a look. The list is bad. It's like really, 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 really bad. Looks bad. <laughs> and Looks the funny thing bad. is, it like that's not even updated. Here's the updated list via Will Brinson at CBS. 28 different starting quarterbacks, all of them including Tim Couch, Ty Detmer, Doug Peterson, head coach of the Philadelphia Eagles, mm. Spurgeon Wynn, Kelly Holcomb, Jeff Garcia, Luke McCown, Trent Dilfer, Charlie Fry, Derek Anderson, great backup, Brady Quinn, also with CBS, Ken Dorsey, Bruce Gradkowski, Colt McCoy, Jake DeLome, Seneca Wallace, Brandon Whedon, Thad Lewis, Jason Campbell, Brian Hoyer, Johnny Manziel, Connor Shaw, Josh McCown, Austin Davis, RG3, Cody Kessler, Deshaun Kaiser, Kevin Hogan. That is the updated list of 28 different starting quarterbacks. And that is uh, since I believe, oh, we have it right here, 1999. Here's how bad they have been, Sam Darnold, in case you want to go to this team. Since 1999, they have two winning seasons since 1999. That came in 2002 and 2007. This team is god awful. Would you want to go to this team? And then there's also a fan who put up this video on YouTube on why he continues to go to Cleveland Browns games, which is just preposterous to any right-thinking human being. Take a look. We built you. Do you understand that it is actually statistically harder for a team to be this consistently bad than it is for them to occasionally accidentally be good? The probability is staggering. We don't even expect you to be good. We just want you to be watchable. Do you have any idea how low our expectations are? And listen, I know that there are way more important things in life than football, but you are supposed to be our pleasant distraction from those things. But all we do is pay you money to put us in a bad mood every week. You are a factory of sadness! I'll see you Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> you are a factory of all right. sadness. I had to throw like all that it. in there. But with that being said, J.R. Jackson, by the way, you, in this example, all right, you're not a USC alum, okay? Take your bias aside, which is impossible for I'm you to do. I'm pretty good at that. With, I'm actually pretty good at that. With USC? Yeah. You're good yeah, with yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So, with that being said, USC. Would you stay one more year to not go to the Cleveland Browns? Absolutely, I would. You uh, would. I would. Oh, man. Well, for a couple of reasons, that would be the that wouldn't even be the main reason, but that's definitely second. Um, what are the other reasons? Well, because he's not ready, man. So, okay, this kid comes in. Uh, but I'm just saying, if it's you, level playing field, just you were starting over. You're at USC. You could skip your senior year, and you're the consensus number one. Thing overall. is, he'd be skipping his what sophomore year. Uh, junior year? Junior year. He's like, and then uh, and as far as starting goes, this is his freshman year fully. So um, last year he comes in because uh, how much Max sucked. So, so uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's I, not I'm blanking on the last name, but yeah. Brown. Max Brown, yes. Um, came in, 
and then looks great, and everyone was so everyone had so much hope in Max Brown that once he came in and sucked, and then uh, had this new kid come in and start who could move his feet like mm -hmm. two steps to the left and right. I was like, oh my God, he can move. He doesn't stand there like a statue and get his head taken off. Right. So everyone like, had all this excitement for him. And this is the hard part. This is with Leinert, Carson Palmer, Mark Sanchez, everybody that's John recently. John David Booty. Booty, who, who's played recently for USC, is especially with the expectations before the two pro teams came back, is they're the professional team in L.A., and L.A. is a huge city, obviously. People pay attention to football as much as people like to say. Oh, nobody goes to football games, or they leave early because there's so many things to do in L.A. Bullshit. People go to football games, and people stay at football games. So The Rams aren't drawing, by the way. They yeah. should be drawing more right. with how well they're playing. It'll take till next year. It'll take till next year, yeah. probably, but they should be drawing their playoff they team have right to, now. This would have to their do. Offense is awesome. the, the, uh, this is the organization's fault. They need to start making this uh, a place to be. When the, the new Rams. Stadium, when the new stadium opens, uh, yeah, it'll be I think a place that's... to be, it'll be full. I agree. Because uh, the Coliseum Usually. is very uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. um, so, so the thing, so when you're the when you're the quarterback of the pro team in LA before the pro teams came back, yeah, yeah. it makes sense to stay. You're still having fun. Uh, these guys, I, I don't know Sam Darnold's background, but you don't have to get out there and herp and make your money and and get out of whatever final situation financial situation you're not able to really get out of, take another year, and I think it'll make him a better pro. You need some time. If guys are ready straight out of high school or straight one year out in college, cool. He's not one of those guys to me. This season hasn't looked like a Heisman season, the way they touted him at the beginning of the season. Yes. Sam Darnold, Heisman, 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 Heisman. You know what happened? Uh, now, this isn't always just his fault. It's a team game. Yeah. 12 picks. Mm. Um, his longest pass, 56 yards. Nice. Um, his completion rate is 63.6.3%. Cool, fine. His quarterback rating, 147.4. If you can tell me what 147.4 means in quarterback <laughs> rating, uh, <laughs> free t-shirt. So, um, <laughs> of your choice. Yeah so, yeah, so thing being, just give him some time. So if you go to the Browns who already dismantle any decent quarterback, and I, I think you still need time to become a pro quarterback, you're going to get destroyed. Right, but JR, 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 JR. Let me bring this back. I'm asking you what you would do. If I was him? Yes. I, I, I appreciate everything that you've said. I think you're speaking I through. rambled, but I'm it made some sense. I'm you. You're in his position. Mm -hmm. You can skip this year, ne this next year. Yeah. You can probably go to the Cleveland Browns. Just in this box of a scenario. Absolutely. Again, it's all for the same reasons. I would stay right where I am. Okay. I'm not trying to pull a Joakim Noah. I'd rather be in other places than Cleveland, uh -huh. all right? Would I skip another year of college, granted you're in LA, would I skip another year of college where anything could happen to me? I could suffer a cracked vertebrae if I just bend the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd, I'd take the money, Yeah, Immediate, immediately, yeah. The problem is it's you, a no-brainer You for take me. the money, but then when you go to Cleveland, you will definitely suffer a cracked vertebrae. That's fine, all you're doing in Cleveland is auditioning to be a backup. <laughs> That's what happens with every single starter that has gone there, every single one. It's a great audition to see, can you get signed by another team to be the second string guy and not suck as much as your, pre as your predecessors? That's what it is. But I'll tell you the mentality of football players. Um, if Now, I get where you come from because this is as you. But yes. football players, they don't go into anything thinking they're going to get injured or else you will get injured. So... The thought isn't, oh, I better hurry up and do this before I get injured or I might get injured. Because if you think that way, you will get injured. No, it's not, it's not a matter of thinking you'll get injured. It's just a matter of, do I get the easy payday right now on a rookie deal? Granted, you can max out because of the Sam Bradford mm -hmm. rule where like uh, they can negotiate any ridiculous contract where starting quarterbacks who have been better than that rookie are getting paid less. Because the money has been so different as time has evolved, obviously, as time has gone on. Uh, so. The, the question is, would I take the money instead of playing another year, potentially hurting my stock as well? Yeah, I'd take the money, I'd go to Cleveland, I'd last the three years, and then I'd be He out. looked also great last year because he had veteran wide receivers, one of which is in a couple of which are in Juju. the NFL now. Um, so that helped him. He's got young receivers. Like, all that will come together. I think he'll have a much better season next year. You could year. have Josh Gordon, by the way. He could be coming back as well. Everything just, will help him, man. Just a thought. Just a thought. Uh, Cleveland Browns, yes or no? By, the, By way, the way, the New York Giants could be drafting him as well if the Browns pass on him. 
right. which is right. pretty cushy. Right. And yeah. the thing is, the, the Browns, I don't know if they've changed their direction in this, but they'll take a, they'll take the young, hot quarterback that's popular because they've done it. We saw that lady's <laughs> jersey. They weren't all young. She retired the jersey, by the way. I should note that. I think she retired after 2015. It started, she started tripping her. She started stepping on the bottom of it on the floor, and she'd walk with it. It's microcosmic of the Browns. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, it's worth it to stay. It really is, I think, so I hope he does. Of course you hope he does. And not even That's for fair. USC, like, like, glory or nothing. I mean, uh, sp specifically for him, I don't think he's ready. Understood. I'm just, once it, yeah, you know, I you, understand you know, the question. A bipartisan, Jacory. Would you take the money with a shitty team like the Cleveland Browns, or would you go back to USC for one more year? DeCorey, no allegiances at all to any team whatsoever. I know. Sir? Sir? <laughs> Bueller? So what's the question? We can't hear you. It's your studio speaker up. Great shirt, though. So, Glad we matched. Thanks, man. Uh, so what's the question? <laughs> Forget it, man. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs>